Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. I've been feeling a little out of sorts and frustrated over the past week. And so I've decided to create this little painting to help me work through some of those feelings. I started my painting by creating a little sketch of an owl. Um, I affectionately call this owl my little surly owl. <laughs> and uh, after I created this sketch, I started painting it using some watercolors. I'm not really sure why I've been feeling so out of sorts, but I do suspect that lack of sleep and headaches have led to me feeling a little bit grouchy. Although feelings of frustration are not pleasant to have, they're here to tell me something, and so I'm trying to work with them to figure out what it is that's going on. Not surprisingly, I think the pandemic is also starting to wear on me. On top of having to deal with the normal stressors of everyday life, over the past almost two years now, we've been asked to deal with a whole lot more stress. So this little owl I'm painting is starting to feel a little tired of giving a hoot all the time. Maybe my little owl is also helping me process some feelings of sadness because the first color I was drawn to using when starting to paint my owl was blue. I see purple as a bit of a color of wisdom and owls are said to be wise and so I've decided to paint its wings purple. I've heard that in reality, owls are no wiser than other birds, but this is how our society has sort of portrayed owls to be in fiction. And my little owl, though he's feeling a little frustrated, sad, and blue, um, still has wisdom and sees the wisdom in letting his feelings speak to him. After letting my background colors dry, I start add, to add a second layer of color by adding some darker shades. This little owl I'm painting wants to be very serious, but you know what? He's also very quirky. And for some reason, this quirkiness is helping lighten up my mood. The simple act of acknowledging my feelings is helping me work through them. One thing's for sure, pretending I'm feeling well when I'm not feeling well doesn't work very well at all. My figurative feathers have been feeling ruffled all week, so I've decided to paint some ruffled feathers on my owl. Even though this pandemic and sometimes life can be frustrating at times, it's important that we deal with those feelings of frustration. When we don't deal with our feelings, they end up eating us up inside. And then we start feeling worse or sometimes we even get sick. Painting is one of the ways I deal with my difficult feelings but I also find that talking to loved ones can be very helpful. And if there's no one I feel comfortable talking to, I can also reach out to a counselor. Since they say green is the color of envy, I'll paint my little owl's eyes green. 
I really envy the days when things seem to be simpler. Actually, maybe envy is not the correct emotion. What I'm feeling seems more like longing for something, like missing something, like missing the days where there were fewer restrictions and we had a little bit more freedom to move around. Slowly but surely, my little owl and I are starting to shed our fiery feelings of frustration. Working on this little painting is really helping me live in the moment and be more mindful of how I'm feeling. At times it can be tough to be an empath living in this society. That's why it's important to make sure we take good care of ourselves, not only during difficult times, but all the time. Self-care is not selfish, but it is an act of self-preservation and self-compassion. No one can give from an empty vessel. When we take good care of ourselves, it's also naturally possible for us to be more caring of others. In the final steps of my painting process, I've started using some paint markers to add some more definition to my little owl and also add some highlights and shading. I'm really enjoying working on my little owl's face and for some reason giving him that surly little look on his face is really helping me work through my feelings of frustration and I'm finding myself giggling in the process. So even though it's important for me to process the feelings I'm having, it's also important for me not to dwell on my feelings of frustration and sadness. There's room for me to also explore the happy side of things and to make room for play because play uh, actually helps me to be more in the moment and for whatever reason, when I'm more in the moment, I always realize that things aren't all that bad. My little surly owl is now nearing completion and I must say I also am starting to feel a whole lot better. I hope that whatever life is throwing at you these days that you are finding ways to work through the challenges. I also hope you can remember that caring for yourself is just as important if not more important than caring for others. So when you can, Give yourself a little break from giving a hoot about everything and start giving a hoot about yourself. Thank you again for joining me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!